Welcome guys back to another M Creator lore video. So today what we're going to be working on is the mechanics for converting uh, quicklime and or lime into quicklime. Uh, I guess it's called quicklime and then we'll be turning it into something uh, that we can actually use for fertilizer uh, or at least the, uh, the pH level stuff. Uh, so what I needed to do was create a generation uh, block that will generate in the world that will give you limestone and Basically, I'm just setting up the properties and stuff for that block at the moment and then I needed to make it generate and Also set up the generation properties. So I decided to leave it on uh the un like the old system for generation uh, this will allow it to generate in clusters and not be affected by the the um, height uh, how, how far away from the middle it is so we're just going to leave it at that part and then we're going to adjust the the height itself uh, this way it will generate clumps like dirt or gravel in this the actual overworld uh, throughout the train and stuff like that. So I'm just basically setting the maximum and minimum height. And if we need to adjust it later for the, the amount that might be able to generate, then we will. Uh, I am going to put them in their own folders. And then I'm going to go ahead and create the cobbled stone version next. So basically this version will be the one that we use the mechanics on for making quicklime. Um, this is generally what in the Edwardian period uh, in England they used to do. So they would um, basically have all this uh, limestone. They would dig a pit or, you know, if they had a pit already, then they would put it in the pit. And then they would basically mix it in with layers of coal and layers of limestone, like the little chunks of limestone. And eventually what would happen is it would reach a certain temperature that would create the quick lime. So that's basically what they did for the farming and stuff in that period. So we're gonna be recreating something in that kind of direction. It, the method's not used anymore and it was actually quite dangerous because the fumes are very dangerous when you're actually making it. But uh, I wanted to make sure that I had the all the blocks and stuff set up first, and then right at the moment I'm working on the quick lime, so we'll be just calling it that, and we don't need any generation properties. Actually, you know what? I forgot that we need to call it uh, block, so we're going to call it a block as well, and then we're going to make a folder for that. I'm uh, just trying to keep everything organized so it's nice and tidy and everything has its own little place and stuff like that so next what I want to do is I want to go ahead and create a new item for quicklime and this will be just a quicklime not quicklime block or item or anything like that and we'll just make sure that all the properties are set up everything looks good we'll save that we'll make a folder for it and then we'll go ahead and we will set the drop property for the quick lime to that, uh, the quick line or the quick lime. And then we will go ahead and set it to drop four. Uh, that should be the same idea as clay. So basically, you can take four clay balls and make one clay block. So we're going to use the same crafting recipe for that. And then I'm going to just uh, look up on Wiki for. The properties for the cobblestone or yeah I think it's cobblestone so we're just setting those properties right there all right so all of the other settings are basically set up that I want uh, I am going to go ahead and just make a few more adjustments for the limestone I uh, just want to make sure that the properties are the same so yeah it's the same as the um, current version. I am going to have it drop the cobbled limestone though. Just one of the blocks. I was going to do a loot table but I don't think I need a loot table honestly. And for the other ones I think we're good for that. So we can start working on the mechanics I believe next. So I'm just trying to figure out where the folder is for all that. So I'm going to put the mechanics under um, believe it's the oh we're creating the recipe next so I'm just creating the uh, recipe for 
the um, creating the quick line block. So we're going to just select um, four of these. We're actually going to use a tag. Uh, I should really start using tags more often. So I'm going to call it the namespace of the block uh, or the mod, and then I'm going to make sure that it's uh, set up so we can uh, create the items and stuff like that. So I'm just basically setting the items and then this will be the quick climb item that we have for that. And then we're just basically outputting the block itself. And I've given it a um, one of those display name things, like categories for it. And then all we need to do is we need to go to, um, I believe this one, and we're gonna start working on the mechanics pretty soon. I need to make the tag for the uh, quick lime as well, so we're I'm just basically setting up a tag for that so we can adjust like basically have the recipe finished so Once we have the mod done and then I have the tag for that So we have that all set up and then all I need to do is we need to start working on the Mechanics, so I'm going to set the random tick date a random tick update so we can basically enable that and then we can move on to triggers and we're going, this is for the cobblestone, cobbled uh, quick lime is, or cobbled limestone as well. So we're going to start working on mechanics that will test for the layers of the blocks. So whenever this block does tick randomly, it's going to take these into consideration of the placement of the block. So if everything is basically set up in a certain way, then it's going to go ahead and um, start the process of actually cooking the quick lime, which will take about a minute, I think we'll have it set to. So that will take a little bit of time, but um, it will be good overall. So right now I'm just basically adjusting it. I need to set a few tags. I'm using tags because it will allow for cross mod compatibility. And um, I'm going to do this as much as I can for the mod. Um, so other mods can basically add features for it and stuff. If they want to make their own coal blocks or whatever, they can add that to the list or even assign other blocks in the game itself. So after that, we need to go back to tags. We need to add um, a new one for quick lime. And we're going to go ahead and uh, put our coal under this one. So this is for the mechanics of the uh, quick lime. So we're just going to basically set up the tag that we had in the the mechanics one for the coal. And we're just gonna assign the coal block to that list. So we're gonna also have um, a couple different layers. So we're gonna have like three blocks of coal, uh, which is, I don't know how many um, coal that you'll actually need to make quick lime, but it should be more realistic. And then what we're going to do is we're going to test for a couple different um, cobbled limestone. So in in here, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, actually have a weight block. Now this weight block can't have used variables, so I have to design it in a way that will basically, um, basically not have variables and stuff like that. Uh, later on, I think what I'll end up doing is going back and um, testing basically making these two blocks a tag so it will work better but for time's sake i'm not going to be using tags for it at the moment um we will be using the uh testing for a block uh at the bottom that will uh, at the moment it's going to be camp like fire but what, what we will end up end up doing is um adding fire or campfires to the list. So we'll be able to use campfires instead. And this will actually have some unique properties to it itself. So uh, because coal blocks are flammable, uh, this wouldn't technically work uh, with the way that we have it set up at the moment. So it would just burn the coal before it would actually have time to randomly tick. And uh, campfires don't do fire spreading. So we can use campfires instead for this or create our own I guess, but uh, why when you can use a vanilla thing? So what I'm doing right now is I'm basically going to remove the coal blocks and then 
what I'm going to do from there is after this one minute is up, it's going to basically uh, set all the blocks at the um, locations where the same block is. It's going to turn that to quick lime. So basically that's the basic system that I'm doing. We could simplify it a little bit more and make sure that there's a test that there is uh, coal all there and stuff like that. Uh, we might still do that in another video, but this video is already going to be pretty long. So I wanted to make sure that the, um, like obviously you want to make sure that the coal and everything is still there so people can't just break the coal blocks, but um, giving that it's random is pretty hard to determine, at least at the moment. So next what we want to do is we want to find the right click property um, and basically add our item. I'm trying to figure out where uh, if I used a tag or not and it appears that I did use a tag. It's uh, that one. So we're going to go into the tags list and we're going to go into uh, this one. It should be in here somewhere and then we're going to replace this with uh, the quick lime for the pH level and then this mechanic should be set up now. So uh, that one's done. Uh, bone meal, I think I'll keep the bone meal um, basically the way it is, uh, just because it's basically set up already in Minecraft to be kind of like fertilizer. Uh, we might make fertilizer later on when we have some animals or something like that, but um, at the moment, I'm just gonna use the campfire for the thing and use bone meal and uh, the um, quick climb. So in game, uh, basically what I'm doing is I'm going to run a quick test of the um, mechanics. So I'm going to go ahead and put that there. I have a stack of um, coal, quick lime, coal, quick lime, coal, quick lime. And this will take a few minutes to uh, basically go ahead and turn into um, the quick lime block. And then from there, it should, I, I'm taking a wild guess and going to say it's probably going to drop onto the campfire and break the blocks because I did set up gravity for the quick lime, uh, cobbled quick lime or quick lime uh, block. But um, because the fire is like half a block, it'll probably just break the um the actual block and drop it. We'll see. Um, I don't think items are actually damaged by the campfire, so it should be fine the way that it is. Again, this is the, we don't want to use actual fire because um, it will mess up the entire system and um, it will actually cause the coal to burn, unfortunately. So this will take a little bit of time. I sped this up by four, um, so Basically, it would go a little bit faster uh, for the recording and stuff like that. But um, again, we have to wait for the random tick update for the thing. And then the timer will start counting for up to one minute. So 20 ticks per second, uh, 60 seconds. That's like 1,200 1, uh, ticks. So that's basically what we're waiting for at the moment. By now, it's already basically timing uh, or start of the timer and stuff like that. And it should be dropping any time in just the next couple seconds. So just wait for it. And there we go. It dropped. So it basically turned it into quick lime and uh, or quick line. Yeah, quick line blocks. And then we can basically place these blocks uh, down and they have like that different texture. Right. So it's more kind of cracked. And then what we can do is we can basically mine that. So I'll go into uh, survival mode and I'll just test to see if the mechanics for the dropping properties work. And this is important for um, basically making sure that the mod actually works. So we got four from that, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 36, 40. Perfect, so, and we're gonna test our recipe quickly as well. Um, Again, uh, basically what you would probably want to end up doing if you wanted to, I'm just taking a whole bunch of screenshots right now, I'm not sure why. If you wanted to make uh, something more realistic for the Edwardian time, what you would end up doing is you basically dig a pit. Uh, I would say the pit would probably be about a four by four area um, in size for comparison of what the pits were um, in the Edwardian time. And then you would basically go down where all the um, 
you would have the the blocks for your um, your quick lime like that. So that would be your quick lime, and then you would have coal underneath all of them. So you need to go down a little bit further than this, and you have to remember that you're going to have the campfires below. So you would have something like that probably. And then what you would have is probably like a hopper system or something like that if you wanted to automate it. And then basically when it all dropped, you would basically go ahead and just have it run into a, a chest or something like that. And that would work perfectly fine. Uh, and then you can start that process all over again when you go ahead and create it. So again, you would have all your campfires here and underneath the campfires, you can put hoppers and it'll collect the items automatically and put them into the um the hopper because they're a half block technically so that's basically how it would be done anyhow if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out